Hello! Welcome to another Sunscreen Saturday where we usually review sunscreens that are new to me and we put on foundation and we put on makeup and we see if everything works well together, how it feels, what the color is like, but today is going to be a little bit different. What we're going to do is talk about two items that I had previously reviewed and loved and it seems that they've been reformulated. I know for sure that this one has been. This is the mineral, the untinted from Elastin, and this is the tinted from Elastin. This is such a fantastic sunscreen, as was this, and there's a huge amount of product in here. This was always a little bit too dark for me, but I would just do two or three pumps of this and mix it with this, and it was just right. Now this one, I don't know if they're saying it's reformulated, but the color seems a little bit different. So here's two pumps. This is what it looks like. And previously, it was, I don't know, I think it might have had a little bit of pinkness. I felt that it was too dark, but not too warm. And when I put it on my face, and I haven't done any of my skincare because I'm going to wash this off. When I put this on my face, initially I think, oh, Okay, this isn't a bad shade for me at all. In fact, it's pretty darn good. I have the fan on because it's hot, but it's also going to help this dry. And then we're going to put a little bit more on it, and you can see how warm this one turns. So heartbreaking for me. On the other hand, if you have warmer skin than me or deeper skin than I do, this new color, which they haven't made any claims that there's a new color, but I think there is. I really regret that I threw away my last one. I had slowed down on it. I'm one of those weirdos. When I come near the end of a product, I will oftentimes, if it's not an essential like my vitamin C, you know, but I have a lot of sunscreens, I'll slow my roll and keep it a lot longer, but I'm not really using it. And just, I don't know, two months ago, I finally threw it out and I replaced it. And I tried it a few times and I thought, What's going on here? This one I can tell you for sure has been reformulated. I received both of these from my doctor's office, which isn't to say I received them. This one I bought after I had gone for, I don't know, I was, I was doing something over there and I said I need some sunscreen to go home <laughs> and I didn't bring any and they gave me this and I thought, oh my god, I love this. I love the texture, I love the way it feels, but hot damn it makes my skin looks so so pretty and I remember looking in my rear view mirror going wow this is so so pretty so I bought one the next time I went to the doctor's office and then this I got after I did my halo and I loved it I was totally surprised they gave me a little pack of aftercare from Elastin this now is a dimethicone balm so the one in the blue is very very different than the previous and that one I also tossed I finished them so here's the texture it was heavy before but the minute you put it in it has a light feeling to it now it has a heavy feeling to it so you see this bluishness coming up right it's always left a bit of a white cast but now it feels a little bit like putting Vaseline on your face and I am a person who runs hot, which is to say, when I was a kid and I would go to the doctor's office, to the nurse's office, I don't feel good trying to get out of class. She'd take my temperature and she said, well, you're below normal. I can't remember, is that 98.6 or 96.8? One of those, you're below that. And every time I went into a little fakey wakey, um, I was below that. So my body temperature is naturally lower than average, so heat affects me more. That's what I'm deducing, because I'm a misery in heat. And this, to me, feels like wearing a, I'm gonna put it on the other side too, it feels like I'm wearing a neoprene ski mask on my face. Now, you're probably familiar with the idea that when it's cold, you should wear a hat, because, I don't know, 80% or 90% of your body's heat escapes through your head. Well, I consider my face part of my head. Call me crazy. And I feel my temperature rise when I wear things that have a ton of dimethicone. 
That's one of the reasons I don't like the very liquidy, the very thin sunscreens, because usually they're dimethicone bombs, and even though it's light and it's runny and the whole thing, it feels heavy to me. It feels like it's suffocating my skin, and that's exactly how I feel. Now, this is getting darker and darker, and I'm just going to get another pump, just a little bit, and put it right on top so you can see how dark this gets. See? When it goes on, super agreeable for me, but uh, no. This shade, to me, I think they changed it, you guys. You tell me, if you use Elastin and you love Elastin, if this in particular is your thing, let me know if you feel that the new one, and it doesn't have new packaging where this one does, this has blue, and I believe this is what the old one looked like, but I think they changed the color. This doesn't seem right. And this, I, I don't remember the other one looking like this. To me, this has a blue undertone, which might be great for correcting some undertones. I think if you're very sallow, blue is helpful, but I'm not sallow. And you know what I mean? Now, while I'm looking like a freak with an orange head, <laughs> I want to tell you about something that I started using that actually works. This is the Naked Sundays, I can't read it, Glow Mist SPF 50. Looks like this. And this is not something that I use when I first do my makeup, but it's something I do when I'm taking her out my little Gracie for a walk at the end of the day and it's still sunny. It's been very hot here for us. I, I'm dreading when it gets really, really hot because I haven't adjusted yet so I've been going quite late and recently I've been exploring walking her at night. High risk because coyotes but I'm, you know, I've got my eyeballs out looking to make sure there's no coyotes following us but if it cannot be avoided, if I put on my sunscreen at 8 o'clock in the morning or 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm going to go out and run some errands and be in my car and walk down the street or doing some gardening, I'm going to redo this. You know what I mean? After about four or five hours, if I'm not exposed to the sun, because your sunscreen degrades as it is exposed, but you get indirect light and light bounces off of the floor and back onto your face. When you're inside, that counts, but it doesn't count as much as being fully outside. In other words, I reapply when I think it's necessary, and I've been using this. Shake it up, and I do have my fan on, so spraying it might not be too fun. <laughs> but look at that mist. That is, I don't know if you saw that. Can you see that? Such a fantastic mist. Now, because it's so fine, I definitely hold my breath when I do this. You know, take a deep breath, do a little sprain, even to walk a few steps away so I don't inhale any of these things because it doesn't taste that good. Surprisingly, right? <laughs> but it's a fantastic mist. I used to use the one from Supergoop but their mist was a little wonky, and they're such a lovely company. The first ones that they did years and years ago, maybe seven, eight years ago, I said, you know, I have to run this after under hot water because it seems the nozzle is messed up and there's goop in it, and it only sprays one way, and it's such a big sprayer, it was getting my hair, so I'd have to put a towel on my hair so I didn't get that sticky stuff in my hair. The product itself I loved, they sent me another one and then they did a reformulation because obviously I wasn't the only person who say mm, the sprayer and it was lovely but this sprayer is so fine that for reapplying you don't have to worry about having one of those you know oops everything's pretty fine and then you got a blob and then you have a blob on top of your makeup and you have to work to you know work that through without taking off your makeup you are not going to have a problem with this sprayer with that. It is perfect for putting on over your makeup with no worries of big specks falling on your face and trying to work them in. So this one, I don't like this anymore. 
it's going to remain quite white. I don't remember the other one being this white. It does feel like it has a blue or purple undertone to it, which I'm not in love with that idea. And I don't like how they change the formula. So many cones. I don't know if it's silicone or dimethicone, and I don't have my magnifying glass here, but this is 100% changed. And it's such a shame because as far as untinted sunscreens went, in the mineral department, it was my favorite because it was so comfortable. It was just comfortable. It didn't streak on your face. Like some minerals feel like they're not blended well with their carrier and you get these streaks that you have to work through. So, so lovely. But now, very, very dimethicone and blue. And this one, I feel like it's a lot warmer than it used to be. Again, I used to mix this with this and I have done it a few times. If that's the way you like to do it, you may not see a huge difference, but if you are somebody who likes to put it on your face straight away and you don't have a warm undertone, it it's not that it won't work under makeup. It's just that for wearing without makeup, you might have a problem. Let's just let's just play. Since it's such a short video, and I'm going to do one pump of that, probably an equal amount of the white one. And we'll just put it over here. See, that color works for me. Of course, I'm putting it over something white, but I hope you can see. I'll put it right here. See, that color, not too bad for me. I'll still wear it that way. But I won't really love it because I don't like the new formula of the mineral. It just makes me feel hot. Also, because it's so dimethicone it never feels set. Alright you guys, that is going to wrap up this unusual update for Sunscreen Saturday. I usually don't go back to the well, but I thought it was important since I love both of these so, so much. And I just feel like this one is warmer than it was previously. And this one, the formula itself, has really, really changed. And it breaks my heart. All right, you guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope it was helpful. And I'll see you on the next one.